well, and formation tests are not strictly considered part of the completion process but for the purpose of good understanding and for the benefit of students and participants, we are covering this topic in the completion series. Well testing entails taking measurements while flowing fluids from the reservoir. They are conducted at all stages in the life of oil and gas field, from exploration through development, production, and also injection. Thank you for watching the video. We are committed to bring forth more videos to enrich your knowledge. Please support us by subscribing to the channel and benefit from the videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified about a new video. Thank you. Oil and gas companies usually perform a well test after the drilling is completed and productive zones are perforated. This is to determine whether a formation will produce, or continue to produce, hydrocarbons at a rate that gives a reasonable return on investments. Well testing provides information about the characteristics and extent of the reservoir. Let us have a look at the common well test equipment, and their purpose. The flow head connects to the top of the well while performing well test. It provides a means to direct and control the flow of well bore fluids. Choke manifold is installed downstream of the flow head. It usually has at least two adjustable chokes along with a set of high pressure valves and associated piping. The chokes are arranged such that one adjustable choke may be isolated and taken out of service for repair and refurbishment while well flow is directed through the other one. Chokes are used to adjust or control the fluid flow, and downstream system pressure. Test separator is installed downstream of the choke manifold. They are used to separate the oil, gas, water and completion fluid at the surface. By measuring rates of oil and gas produced, engineers gain information about the potential of the well, and expected oil or gas production. Burner booms are designed to dispose of oil and gas safely, away from the rig and rig personnel by keeping the heat and radiation away. There are several other equipment used for well test, depending on the scope, and expected reservoir fluids. In some instances, the oil company carries out a drill stem test. The DSD allows a particular zone to be isolated with packers. The well can then be flown at periodic intervals to test zones of interest, selectively, and gain information about individual reservoir pressures and production potential. Well testing can be completed in two days to evaluate a single well, or, months to evaluate reservoir extent. Test types include Build up Drawdown Fall off And, Injection Build-up tests are performed, by shutting in the well after some period of flow, to measure the increase in bottom hole pressure. For drawdown tests, the well is opened after a specific period of shut-in.
During other tests like injection test, and fall-off test, fluid is injected into the formation and the bottom hole pressure increase is monitored. The well is then shut in and the resultant decrease in bottom hole pressure is recorded. Engineers analyze responses to pressure change using pressure transient analysis, a technique based on the mathematical relationship between flow rate, pressure and time. The analysis helps in determining the optimal completion interval, production potential and skin.